What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the sweetest, sweetest prices. If you're looking for a way to upgrade your Wi-Fi experience, if you're tired of dealing with Ethernet cables, and if you're on Windows 10 64-bit, look no further. I've got the one, the only, Fenvi FVAX3000R Wi-Fi 6 PCIe wireless adapter here. I value your time, so let's just get right to it and open the box. Okay, here we are, everything you get in the box. An instruction manual, a cute little CD with drivers. That's really nice. A low profile bracket for small form factor builds. Included in the little baggie is a Bluetooth cable. You get two high gain antennas. Check it out, we got the two high gain antennas right here. And of course, the FVAX3000. R Wi-Fi 6 wireless adapter. By default, the AX3000R is attached to the standard profile bracket, as you can see. But again, just to remind you, they do include the small form factor bracket if you need it. All right. Also, notice the large, handsome heatsink that's already on the chip, ready to operate at full performance without overheating or throttling. Thank you, Fenvi. That's a very good thing. It'll distribute heat away from the core components and stay cool even if you're doing those large intensive file transfers over your network or if you're gaming or streaming high-res movie files or whatever. The chipset underneath the heatsink is the Intel AX200 chipset which allows this Wi-Fi adapter to operate on 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz dual band, all right? And that gives you wireless speeds up to 2400 megabits per second at the 5 gigahertz band and 574 megabits per second at the 2.4 gigahertz band. Of course, your router still needs to support Wi-Fi 6, okay? Check your router, please. I don't want to be blamed for a bad router. All right, as I alluded to before with that included Bluetooth cable, the AX3000R also supports Bluetooth 5.0, easily pairs with Bluetooth keyboards, mice, and other peripherals. If that wasn't enough, you also get 2x2 two two MUMIMO, M-U-M-I-M-O, that's multiple user, multiple input, and multiple output. It also supports OFDMA. That's obviously orthogonal frequency division multiple access. This is perhaps the most important feature of Wi-Fi 6. It basically allows for multiple users with various bandwidths to be served simultaneously. In the traditional approach, unique users compete to upload data, but in Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax schedules the users to avoid clashes. It's just awesome. Also included, of course, are the two high gain antennas ensuring greater Wi-Fi coverage, enhanced stability, further ensuring a smooth internet experience. I speed tested this with the antennas installed and this was actually the second FEMV adapter with which I achieved a speed slightly greater than with an ethernet cord plugged directly into my NIC. That's just crazy. And lastly, talking about compatibility, I sort of hinted at it before, this will only work with Windows 10 64-bit, okay? I'm sorry if you're on another operating system, it just won't work. But if you are on Windows 10 64-bit, whether you're on a mid-tower, full-tower, or mini-tower computer with the low profile and full height bracket provided, this will fit your PCIe slots. It'll fit PCIe slots from X1 to X16 lanes, suitable for almost all PCs. And with that, you'll get that 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz dual band frequency, less lag, greater coverage with the high gain antennas, the Wi-Fi 6 features of MUMIMO and that orthogonal frequency division multiple access, the Bluetooth 5.0. I mean, it's just a great, Wi-Fi upgrade for your desktop. Instant 802.11ax. What more can I say? My dear eggheads, the Fenvi FVAX3000R Wi-Fi 6 PCIe wireless adapter. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. Let me know down in the reviews or comments just how much your Wi-Fi experience improves with this adapter. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey everyone, it's Kenan, your trusted tech nerd for all things value packed. Now, I don't know if you have any plans in the near future to make a DIY desktop computer, but if you're going to do that, you must know that a suitable power supply is very important. 
And I don't know when it started, but it seems like high power power supplies right now are all the rage. I don't know if it's because CPUs and graphics cards are just so expensive that no one cares about how much money they dish out for power supplies, am I right? I'm just kidding. But clearly, using a high power power supply does have its benefits. Number one, it can make your expensive CPU and graphics card last much longer. Number two, it can decrease the amount of electricity you use, making you more energy efficient. And three, the other functions can bring you more convenience and stability while using it. I have here the Segotep Xingu GP Series 750 watt gold power supply. Xingu is a desktop power supply company that has been around for a long time, longer than me, and I'm pretty old. They were founded in 1986 and have a worldwide reputation for power supplies, chassis, and radiators. Now I said before that a good power supply can make your CPU and your graphics card last much longer. This is marked with 750 watts. But how much power do we really need? I ran some tests. Okay, when browsing the web and replying to emails, a computer needs only about 60 to 100 watts. I have here that if you are going to play games or make videos, you need about 120 to 350 watts. Now we might get a little technical here, but when a power supply is at 50% load, okay, 50% load, that means that we are at peak efficiency. That means that internal temperature and stability are at peak performance. So if you're using a full set of high-end capabilities, you know, you're playing high-res games, you're editing films, you're live streaming or whatever, choosing a 750 watt power supply is not only appropriate, but it's essential for the long-term health of your computer. Remember, a 750 watt power supply means that it can provide up to 750 watts of power, but it doesn't mean that the power consumption will remain at 750 watts. The actual power consumption depends on the motherboard, the CPU, the graphics card, etc., how they're all being used, and the power supply will only provide the amount of required power. Two, remember I said that we can decrease the electricity expense. As I said before, when a power supply is at 50% load, we are at peak efficiency. What this means is that our power conversion rate is at its strongest, at its highest. So what does that mean? That means to output a certain X amount of power. The amount of power input required is the least. If you're still on the fence for some reason, I'll have you know that this power supply has passed the 80 plus gold certification. I haven't heard of that certification. Let me explain. 80 plus is recognized as one of the most stringent power saving codes in the world, which is directly related to your monthly electricity bill. At the beginning, it was divided into four levels, 80 plus, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, 80 plus gold. Later, two higher levels were added, namely 80 plus platinum and 80 plus titanium. The 80 plus gold standard used by this device refers to the power conversion rate of 87% at 20% load. If it's a 50% load, the conversion efficiency at this time is the highest, which can reach 90%. And if it's 100% full-time, full load operation, the conversion rate can still maintain more than 87%. This means that your entire setup is more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Then you may be wondering, what are the conversion rates of the other levels? You know, is, is gold actually good or should I need, do I need something better? Let me answer you. The most basic 80 plus standard, no matter the workload, the conversion rate can reach 80%, okay? The most basic 80%. Remember, 80 plus gold is 87 to 90% depending on the load. Now, titanium standard has between 90 and 94% conversion depending on load. Please refer to the picture for detailed comparison. As you can see, the gold metal is in the middle position. Maybe you've seen this when shopping for power supplies before. Products with reasonable prices and guaranteed quality are all basically 80 plus gold certified. You know, I don't want you to waste your money, okay? Spending tons of extra dollars for titanium standard just to get maybe up to 4% higher conversion, I don't think it's such great bang for your buck. I think we should just stick with the 80 plus gold.
For high power power supplies, manufacturers typically add many small functions to make them more useful. There are so many here that I'm gonna use my list to help us out. You've got OVP, that's over voltage protection. OCP, over current protection. OPP, over power protection. OLP, over load protection. UVP, under voltage protection. OTP, over temperature protection. SCP, short circuit protection. These features can automatically shut down your computer if the current or the temperature gets too high. Your computer will not fall to the hands of tiny mechanical failures. This power supply is also an APFC power supply. That is an active power factor correction power supply. What does that mean? This power supply not only saves power, but it also has wider voltage adaptability. So it works very stably under wide voltage fluctuations. All right. Let's look inside the box. Now, here we have a full module power supply, which means, whoa, nice, that we can select the cables we need individually. That makes it easier to organize within the chassis. What do I see here? Ah, the fan, the 140 millimeter super quiet fan. You will enjoy serene silence with this baby. But back to the cables. Ah, look at all these options. We have the 24 pin connector for the motherboard. We've got the connector for the SATA drive, the CD drive, and provided all these cables. Okay, check this out. We've got our motherboard cables, our SATA cables, our drive cables, whatever you need to connect inside your computer, it's all right here. Oh, here's an ancient fossil in the IT world. The famed 3.5 floppy disk. Yes, I know what this is, which means I need to go to a retirement home. You don't need to know what this is. Probably. <laughs> okay. Finally, I have to mention that compared to the power supplies of four or five or even many more years ago, they have added a very convenient switch on the external part. Okay. So now we can manually cut off power or turn power on without having to unplug a cord. Really convenient. All right. Let's review. It has 80 plus gold certification. It is environmentally friendly. It saves power. It has plus APFC active PFC design. It's got OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP, OCP, OTP, multiple protection measures. It comes with a five-year warranty. These features can let you use it with confidence. It's also got full modular design, an additional switch button, and a 140 millimeter ultra quiet fan. You can hardly hear any movement while this is working in standby. That's pretty awesome. This is a very valuable high-end product. 750 watts of power can be applied to almost all configurations. So whether you're browsing the web, working or playing games, making movies, you will not be disappointed. The standard for what makes a good power supply hasn't changed for many years. Invest well once and be pleased for years to come. In fact, I bet you can pass this on to your grandkids. Just kidding, you probably don't wanna do that. But anyway, that's it for today. I really hope this product brings you a lot of value. Thank you and see you next time. Hey guys, curious about what I've got in front of me? It is the Aoster Motor Folding Electric Bike, of course. It is the perfect electric bike for people who regularly cycle to work or who enjoy riding just for the leisure. Once you've finished listening about this folding electric bike, I am sure you'll want to get one for yourself. First, the bike has a powerful motor and good battery capacity. The folding electric bike has a 500 watt high speed brushless motor, giving you a strong driving force and great endurance. It's removable lithium battery supports up to 25 miles per hour. That is quite a great speed for an electric bike, don't you think? It has a range distance of 15.5 to 21.7 miles, depending on power mode and road condition, and has a charging time of only four to six hours. It provides you with three riding modes, pedal mode, boost mode, and power mode. In my opinion, I think many people will love the boost mode. So in the boost mode, the bike also gives you five levels to choose from, 20%, to 80% boost, and that's adjusted just here. Those are quite impressive figures, and the ability to choose from three different modes gives you choice instead of being stuck with just one mode. The bike is also quite impressive in terms of its quality and size. 
it uses a light and strong aluminium alloy collapsible frame. It takes up minimal storage space and can easily fit into any vehicle. Suitable for adults from about 5'3 to 6'3 with an adjustable seat height of 4 inches. And when it's folded, it's only 27.56 inches by 35.42 inches. The bike is also quite considerate when it comes to safety and ease of assembly. It arrives 90% assembled, so you do not need to worry about spending a lot of time putting it together. As for safety, the bike uses a 20 by 4 inch flat tires, which you can see on both sides here, which can adapt to snow, sand, and other complex topography. And the front of the rear disc brakes fully ensure your safety. The bike is also special in that it is fully equipped. The mini electric bike comes with an LCD display. It will display the battery power, speed, mileage, and power mode when you are riding. The front and rear fenders can prevent muddy water splashes. And if you ever forget to charge it, it is built with a Shimano 7 speed transmission using a rear derailleur to give you a comfortable riding experience in pedal mode. All these great benefits brought by the Aosta Motor folding electric bike are truly impressive. I personally think that this electric bike can change your life for the better. It considers the many different challenges that people who use electric bikes can face and it overcomes all of them with the advantages it brings. If that is not enough, then perhaps you'll be won over by its appearance. Just from taking a long look at its simple design and sleek coloring, I already feel comforted. I am sure you will feel that comfort too when you have the folding electric bike at your fingertips. Do not deny yourself the joy of owning this incredible electric bike. What's up Newegg's, Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you're shopping around for a handheld gaming PC, you've come not only to the right place, but perhaps the perfect place. In this box, I've got the GPD WinMax 8-inch gaming laptop. Such a cool device. It's the smallest handheld game console for AAA games. It's a full computer with great specs and doubles as a controller. Let's get it out of the box. All right, it was packaged very nicely. It comes with an instruction manual, USB-C charging unit and cable, as well as the GPD WinMax gaming laptop itself. So here it is. From far away, it might not look like much, but wow, looks can be deceiving. Let's work from the outside in as we explore this little device, okay? As a product solely built for hardcore gaming, the WinMax has been made tough and durable. Your upper cover here is composed of a CNC magnesium aluminum alloy and a main body made of aviation grade anti-shock ABS synthetic resin. The machine features a 1.3 millimeter shell thickness, only weighs 762 grams with a mini size, easy to fit in your pocket or a bag on the go. All right, and take a look at just the insane amount of I.O. in this little device. It has enough I.O. to rival full-size desktop computers. I'm really not exaggerating here. On the front, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, all right, as well as a built-in microphone. On this side, you'll see Ethernet, and one micro SD slot. On the back, you'll notice HDMI 2.0B. This HDMI supports HDR and Intel SGX. It can output 4K 60 Hertz UHD BD video. You've got two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A ports, one USB C 3.1 Gen 2, one Thunderbolt 3 port. All right, that's, that's insane that this little thing also has Thunderbolt 3. A lot of full-size laptops don't have that. With Thunderbolt 3, you can connect up to two 4K 60Hz monitors at the same time or an external eGPU to achieve the best gaming performance possible. All right, so this works on the go or dock it at home with an eGPU through Thunderbolt to turn it into a full-fledged gaming PC. 
On the back here, you'll also be able to glance into the cooling hardware. To improve thermal performance, WinMax adopts the cooling solutions of PC-class twin turbofans plus dual heat pipes. With dual heat pipes, high power turbofans, and a high displacement side blowing design, see these nine ventilation holes right here? WinMax can reach a hot air exhaust efficiency and give you three levels of TDP, 15 watt, 20 watt, and 25 watt. You can switch between these settings in the BIOS. The fans might be a little loud, but I played with this thing for a while and it doesn't get hot. All right, the bottom of the machine is curved with chamfered edges, 49.7% of which is hollowed out for air intake. And the foot pads here have a height of three millimeters each. They're attached to the bottom of the machine to avoid obstruction of the airflow. All right. That was a lot of data, but as you can see, the GPD WinMax ain't messing around. Opening it up here, you see the 8-inch IPS touchscreen. It supports 10 touch points, 90% DCI P3 wide color gamut, DC dimming without flickering, 500 nits of brightness, resolution only 1280 by 800, but has 189 PPI. Not the best, but enough for gaming. You see this controller here? Oh my gosh with the switch key on the side, this thing right here, we go from mouse mode to controller mode. And this has got to be the closest thing to a console controller I've ever felt other than an actual console controller. All right, in terms of built-in joysticks, WinMax adopts the sync in design and X input mode of console controllers. The ultra durable dual 3D joysticks produced by Japan Alps can be used as L3, R3 buttons. They support 360 degree rotation after pressing down, right? In terms of working life, the potentiometer and center stack of the joystick can be used for 2 million and 5 million spins respectively. To avoid finger slipping during gaming, the joysticks have that classic curved rocker cap made of hard materials with strong resistance and the right joystick is in the same position as that of the GPD Win. L1, L2 and R1, R2 are in the left and right corners, all right? They all have highly reliable Panasonic micro switches with mechanical service life reaching 10 million clicks. In terms of the D-pad, WinMax uses the split arrow key layout of the PS4 controller to facilitate subtle, precise movement. The ABXY buttons are still made with double layer silk printing with appropriate spacing between the buttons that facilitates comfortable pressing without errors. Select start buttons are located near the top right over here. All right, see this top hinge here? We have select, menu, and start. Take a look at that. Easily within reach for the left thumb. Now inside the machine, you've got hardware that again rivals full-size laptops and computers. WinMax uses Intel's 10th generation core i5 1035G7 processor with four core eight thread design, 1.2 gigahertz reference frequency, clock it up to 3.7 gigahertz turbo frequency, two megabytes of L2 cache, six megabytes of L3 cache. It's got dual channel 16 gigs of LPDDR4X 3200 memory with read and write speeds exceeding 60 gigabits per second. It uses integrated graphics. The built-in i5-1035G7 SoC integrates Iris Plus Graphics 940, which has 64 EU execution units. Graphics performance comes close to the MX250. Compared with the last gen chips, this display chip has achieved a qualitative leap in performance, energy efficiency, 3D media and gaming performance, and you could hook this up to an eGPU through that Thunderbolt 3. What you're paying for here is the form factor, right? The portability. The GPD WinMax also has a 512 gig M.2 NVMe SSD with sequential read write speeds exceeding 2000 megabytes per second. It can be replaced very easily, but only supports single sided M.2 2280 SSDs. Thanks to the hardware, tons of PC games, even some AAA games, are all going to run very smoothly here. Gosh, that is just so much fun. How long is it going to last, Kenan? Well, that depends what you're doing, obviously. The GPD Win Max is equipped with three 5,000 milliamp hour large capacity and high density polymer lithium batteries, 65 watt super fast charger supporting PD 3.0 protocol, which can charge multiple devices such as mobile phones, tablets, notebooks, all at the same time. So it'll support heavy use for 
about three hours, moderate use for six to eight hours, and light use for 14 hours. Depends on you. This is an incredible, incredible machine. It probably doesn't replace your main gaming PC, but it would be a superb second PC. The fact that they've packed this much function into a controller, essentially, is something to be admired. Get that 16 gigs of RAM, clock up to 3.7 gigahertz, output 4K, hook it up to an eGPU, and turn it truly into a fully-fledged gaming PC. There are a lot of possibilities here. It's stocked with the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 technology as well, so it's really, really prepared for the next generation of connectivity and devices, folks. Yeah, the GPD WinMax 8-inch laptop. Let the GPD WinMax, with its robust hardware and unparalleled controller, give you the euphoric bliss of nostalgia while staying connected to the future. Let us know what you think of this machine in the comments and reviews. For current prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Summer is coming, and if you want a great portable power solution for your next camping trip or outdoor excursion, I may have just the thing here for you. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to New Egg Now. Today, we're looking at the Bosali Portable Power Station. I really wish we had something like this when I was a kid instead of all those AA and D-cell batteries we used to carry with us. This power station does all that. It's super versatile. It's a 300 watt lithium battery that can charge and power your laptop, TV, lights, monitors, drones, phones, tablets, CPAP machine, and just about any other small appliance. It features two AC outlets, four USB ports, two DC outputs, one DC car port, and more. So it's perfect for a family camping trip, but also great to have as a backup in case of a power outage at home. It's a fast charging, totally portable power station equipped with a 296 watt hour, that's 80,000 milliampere hour backup battery to keep your devices charged for longer. Normal charging takes above six and a half hours, but by using the DC port and type C port together, you can get a full charge in just four hours. And get this, it can also recharge with the sun via its solar panel, which is sold separately. You can hook it up to your car charger, charge it by 45 watt type C connection. And of course you can also charge it via the power adapter that it comes with. All the ports can be used at the same time without any issue. This is your AC adapter, so you can plug your Bosali portable power station into the wall to charge it up. And here's your car charger that you can use to charge and power your power station while you're on the road. So let's have a look at the unit itself. We'll start by turning it on, just a simple click here, and you can see the readout is going to let you know just how charged your battery is, very simple. Down here we have two ports for AC. Over here we have the aforementioned port for the car charger. We'll put that inside. There you go, charge on the road, very handy. Pull that back out. Uh, down here we have some DC output ports. Up here we have a DC input port, and on the side we have an in or out for a type C connector, and USB, 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 three USB ports right here. Now if we turn this around, okay, so on the side here we do also have this LED light. I'm going to long press this button to turn it on. So that is your static light. You can use this as a portable flashlight. It's pretty bright, great to use at night. Now, if I click this one more time, we're going into the next mode. And that is SOS. If you ever find yourself, heaven forbid, in distress when you're out there camping or on a road trip, you can leave this out there to be a portable SOS beacon. If I click this one more time, it's going to go into its flashing mode and here you can see it's just a steady flashing light. And one more click will get us back into our static flashlight mode. Okay, we're gonna run another quick test using our USB meter here. We're going to send some power into the portable power station. We're gonna charge it up. 
So we've got 15 volts heading in there, 2.77 amperes and 42 watts. It's safe with a pure sign wave inverter to ensure safety when powering sensitive devices. For example, if you try to charge a device rated over 300 watts, it'll automatically shut down and enter into protection mode. There isn't any fuel inside of this device to worry about. And it's quiet, you're not going to hear any annoying hum if you have it next to you when you're sleeping. It's built to last with a solid build and a sturdy handle, which makes it really easy to carry around. So, if you want some portable power for your next road trip, camping trip, or outdoor adventure, or you just want a reliable backup battery for your home, hit the link below to the Bosali Portable Power Station in the description. For more on this product and other batteries, keyboards, fans, cases, gaming gadgets, and more, head on over to Newegg.com. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one.